everyone and welcome to my channel options trader today so today in this video i will explain you how the price of natural gas has moved in the last two days and how the price of natural gas can move in the next two days see if you look at the chart of natural gas what we have seen that natural gas is trading at around 2.653 dollars okay and i've already explained you that chances can be high that it can go further upside because a swing has already formed and a continuous upside we have seen since four five days and we have seen a sharp upside has come at a level of three dollars okay and after this three dollars it's sustained with a strong resistance and a bounce back has come with a low of around 2.5 dollars now trading at around 2.6 dollars keep this in mind there is a pattern forming that you have to understand here and this level we have not seen since 2021 of june this is the range where the price of natural gas is moving as of now so once this range break then it will come in this particular range okay so once it goes goes below a level of two dollars then a probability of going further down is there then a probability of going further down is there that you have to keep this in mind so two dollar is again a strong support now overall trend is upside but continuously from two days we have seen the prices coming down okay so chances can be high it is trying to form a hammer as you can see looking at this particular chart so probability can be high that suppose if this level didn't sustain now it is trading at a support level so once it break this support chances are very high that we can see a level of 2.569 dollars and if that level also further low then a probability of touching 2.466 dollars is there once it move below this particular level then we can see it can touch a level of around 2. Three to four dollars, and from there we can see it can touch a level of around two point two nine four dollars. Suppose if the price fall below that particular level, then we can see it can touch a level of two point one one zero dollars. Okay, keep this in mind. Once it comes towards a level of two point three four zero dollars, then only we can see a level of two point one one zero dollars. Because a probability is there. If we look at from three days, there is a continuous downfall. Okay, suppose if the price comes close to a level of two point five six four dollars, then we can see level two point four seven four dollars from a level of two point three four. Okay, once the price fall below this level, chances of touching two point one one zero dollar is there. And once it comes close to this level, then we can see it can fall to a level of two dollars and then further low. Because this is the point. this is the point where it is already a weak support so chances of going further lows there then we can see it will come in this particular zone so once it fall below a level of 2.114 chances of touching 1.988 dollar is there and then from there we can see it can fall further low towards a level of 1.805 dollars okay and if that level also goes further down then we can see a level of 1.621 dollars and from there we can see it can Go further low towards a level of one point four six nine dollars. Keep this in mind. Once started falling below this particular level, then we can see a level of one point five, and then further low if the price didn't sustain. Okay. Any doubt regarding this, you can mail me. I've given the mail ID in the description. Now understand something. Okay. A mail ID at stock market trading live at gmail dot com is also there, and a Telegram link also given in the description. You can join that too. Okay. And a Telegram link also given in the description. Okay. Now understand something. Why most of the traders lose money. okay so i'll see if this is the downside i've explain you but if it goes upside that means if it sustain this particular hammer okay or this this particular support if it give a bounce back then a probability is very high that we can see it can go towards a level of around 2.73 to 2.723 dollars and from there we can see it can go towards a level of 2. Nine three five dollars. Keep this in mind. Once it sustain this level, chances of touching two point nine three five dollars is there. And once it goes above this particular level, then we can see it can touch a level of three point zero eight eight dollars. This three point eight zero eight dollars is a high of this particular zone. So once this zone, because this zone have we have not seen since January January of twenty twenty three. So chances can be high if it sustain a level of three dollars, then we can see it can cross a level of around three point three dollars to a level of around three point five. Because three point three dollars is already a weak resistance, so chances are high. We can see a level of three point five dollars, and from there we can see a level of three point seven six zero dollars. Suppose if the price goes above that particular level, then chances of going further upside is there. Then we can see a level of four point one eight dollars. Okay. So once it sustain above three point five, chances of touching three point eight dollar is there, and from there we can see a level of three point nine. Once it sustain this level, chances of touching four point one dollar is there. From the, we, there we can see a level of four point three. There is a gap between this level, so chances will be high that if it sustain above this level, chances of touching four point three is on a higher side. From there we can see it can move further upside. Okay. Any doubt regarding this, you can mail me. I've given the mail ID in the description. So hope you like the video. Okay. 
you can like it and if you can share it okay now understand something why most of the traders lose money okay that why they lose money because they don't trade psychologically okay it is psychologically plays an important role in when you're trading or even investing see if suppose if you're trading with ten thousand dollars try to trade with 10 to 15 percent of capital per trade that is thousand to fifteen hundred risk of 0 0.5 to 1 percent that is 50 to 100 dollars suppose if you took five trades maximum risk you can take is 500 dollars okay that is 100 per trade now this 100 per trade you will be more relaxed once you lose 500 relax for the day and then trade the next day if you trade the next day also if you lose 500 it will not affect your psychology okay what people do is they lose so much money 5000 3000 and in the process of recovering this amount they lose their full capital so I teach how to overcome all these things. I teach when to trade, when to not to trade, when to exit, when to strategize and all. If you want to attend that workshop, mail me regarding that and we can work out on the timing. So hope you like the video and if you like the video, please give a thumbs up and if you're new to my channel, please subscribe.